All right, guys. I know you wanted to see more of the ASV mulching. I just dropped it off down here in CCE and Monk's Corner. But so after the whole ordeal with the wire, I uh, got back to mulching and noticed it. I noticed some oil leaking right here. Um, and there was a little bit coming out of here, but not, nothing major. But there was oil coming out of this screw right here and um and this one as well but mostly this one and so i tightened it up and the leak went to more like a seep and i figured there was an o-ring in there but i called chris who's the manager down here at cc in monk's corner i said hey can you tell me what size o-ring is in there sorry the sun's in the in the way but i said can you just tell me what size o-ring is in there and i'll go pick one up and just take that out and he goes that's not an o-ring um if you've got oil coming out of that screw then something in here has cracked and gone bad and so um so they've got to replace that this manifold block thing where these heads come through so uh fortunately that's covered under my warranty hey chris hey. there's the man in charge yeah. right there but uh luckily i bought a warranty when i got this thing so they're saying that's going to be covered so we're going to be good to go so i hate that i only got to run it for a few hours but she was ripping but they're going to knock it out have it back hopefully in the next week or right after thanksgiving and we'll be good to go all right we are back to plan a i guess we were at plan a and the skid steer i guess was plan b i guess we're back to plan a for for a bit so as i said earlier skid steer is in the shop with that hydraulic issue on the block where the quick connects are so i brought the mini back over here let me set my stuff down and i can talk um so I uh, I only got about three and a half hours in here with the mulcher on the skid steer and I could have charged him for that. He's wanting me to do one day of mulching around the first of the month until this gets done. And that's kind of what his budget allows for, which is fine. It doesn't cost him any extra for me to break it up into parts like that or do it all at once. So I only got about three and a half hours, but I felt like that was just incomplete i didn't feel good about just charging him for three and a half hours for this and we made good progress if i'd have had the whole day in here i'd have got probably all that done we'd have been back over there somewhere with another four and a half hours i'd have made good progress so what i'm going to do i brought the mini back out here i'm going to kind of clean up this line back here clean all that up because we're almost to the swamp there's just a little bit of dog fennel there and then you'll be able to see the swamp and then we'll just kind of work our way through here <clears throat> this is what i wanted to use out here originally with the brush cutter head but all this wisteria this stuff did not allow for that because it kept getting wrapped up around the brush cutter that didn't work and this thing to come in here and clear this large area just would not be efficient but i'm going to run it for about four and a half hours today and what i'm going to do just for that four and a half hours is just cut the rate in half um so it's going to be half the rate of the skid steer because this is about half the production for something like this so half of that so um i normally wouldn't do that but it's not going to bankrupt me or anything um, to run it for about four and a half hours or so at half the rate and then I can kind of finish up all this make it look good and uh, have some more area done and it doesn't really cost him anything extra so that's what we're going to do so let's uh, hop in little munchie and see what we can get done hey everybody if you're interested in getting one of these mulchers please contact my friends over at CCE equipment they're a full line dealer of Prenoff, Dennis, Seamoff, Fecon, Loftness, uh, as well as ASV and Wacker Newson equipment. Uh, they carry a full line of stuff. Uh, they do sales, rentals, they ship nationwide. If you need anything, please look them up and uh, use the promo code IDIGIT and they will hook you up. Thanks guys.
All right, so you can see this is all looking pretty good through here as far as the visibility. Got all that dog fennel knocked down. Got a couple of big trees here, right here. There's a big old gum tree laying right there. This log, a couple other surfboards over there I need to grind down, part of that tree over there. A um, couple of stumps. I don't know if he's gonna want me to grind these bigger trees up or not. He may just want to burn them. I don't know. I mean, like, you know, time is money in here for him. So, I don't know. I'll check with him and see what he wants to do. I mean, the, the, the skid steer with the mulcher will grind that. No problem. I mean, it will take some time, but it'll do it. Um, so, I'll definitely knock down the stumps for sure. Uh, most of them were about half rotted anyway. They went, all of them went pretty quick. Um, but I'm going to come back through here, you know, we'll grind up these little surfboards and stuff when I bring the skid steer back over here. That won't take but a minute to kind of go through here, grind that up. But, um, you know, we'll see about that stuff. Yeah, making our way through here. I'm going to start working up this hill right here, knocking all this out. Right in, right in there is where I hit that wire, right next to that tree. I remember that. I think it was, was laid up somewhere in here. I never saw it. That's the one good thing about the mini in here. That's the reason I wanted to come through here with the mini and the brush cutter in the first place is just mainly because of the visibility um, in here. I mean, with the skid steer, you just don't have a lot of visibility to see the debris. The skid steer is the perfect machine for this job, uh, you know, other than the visibility. And that was, you know, if there hadn't have been the concern with the debris in here, the, the skid steer would have been my first choice regardless. Um, and it it is still the the i think the best tool for the job but you just got to be really careful in here with all this debris with the wire and all the junk that's back in here and there's that wire garden hoses trash metal all kinds of stuff that's back in here so a lot more visibility sitting up in that cab but uh, let's work our way up this hill and see how much more we can get done for the end of the day
All right, we are done for today. Little Munchie did a great job in here. We got this whole back line cleaned up and it actually worked out really well. I was able to take the head and kind of stick it down that embankment there um, on the swamp side and clean that up a little bit. There's still some big logs down there, some slash and trees and stuff that we got to clean up. And I, there's some stumps through here that I'll have to bring the skid steer through here and clean up when we come back next month. But uh, I'll probably just bring the skid steer through here and just kind of do a quick finishing pass through here, grind the stumps and just kind of grind down a little bit, grind this down just a little bit better. But for now, this this will work, this will work really good. This looks good. Um, very, very happy with the production I got in here today with that thing. Um, we'll come back through here. I think that's those blue markers of the property line. So I'll just kind of clean that up really in there in that corner with the skid steer two around that tree and then just kind of goes back up that way. So we don't really have a whole, whole lot left to finish. It's just really this kind of section here, this little L section right here. And then uh, what's over there, that little bit that's on the other side of that line over there where that, that all that dog fennel was over there. But there's not a whole lot. It's really just the big thing that's gonna take time is just the, these trees, if he wants me to grind all that up. And the stumps, like all this, these trees that fell and this deadfall and the slash that's through here, like that's a big tree. I mean, it's half rotten, but still, that's pretty big. There's another big one over there. That's that's because that one fell. You know, that's gonna take time to grind up, but um, we'll get it. Skid steer will do it. I didn't waste time with the little little munchie trying to, you know, the, the, I mean, look at the size of this stump right here. This thing's massive. <laughs> this thing's huge. I mean, that's that's my foot right there. You know, there's the tripod, you know. So that's a big stump. There were some big pines in here that he had logged out. So and there's another big one right there too. <clears throat> big pine. So, yeah. But all this looks good. I'm sure he'll be very happy and we will be back here sometime around the first week of December with the skid steer again and start seeing what else we can get done. So, all right, well, I'm gonna go enjoy the rest of my Saturday and I hope you guys are having a great weekend and uh, I will check you guys on the next one. Bye everybody.